historic moment in space, just not meant to be this morning. As NASA scrubs the launch of its first rocket to the moon in 50 years, the mission called Artemis One is for humans to quite literally go where no one has gone before. Our ABC News transportation correspondent, Gio Benitez, joins us from the Kennedy Space Center there in Florida. Gio, a lot was riding on this mission, now postponed this morning due to a number of issues. You've been there overnight, keeping track as they were working on some things. What exactly went wrong, and when do we expect this launch now? So you know what, Janae, no doubt about it. I mean, look, a lot of people were excited about this, but look, we have to remember this was a test launch. It just happens to be a test launch that a lot of people uh, were looking forward to and a lot of people were watching. But in this case, it looks like there was an issue with one of the engines, right? And so that issue, any engine issue, is a major issue. And so NASA engineers are looking at that engine right now to figure out exactly what went wrong. But what's going to happen is they're going to spend the next few hours and days trying to figure this out. The next possible opportunity, and I, I want to stress, that's just an opportunity to launch, is Friday, okay? Friday just after 12 noon. But that is just an opportunity because if NASA engineers feel that this is uh, just not right yet to launch, they will hold it back. So we really don't know uh, when they would launch this, uh, but they are looking at that engine issue very, very closely. It looks like some of the other overnight issues that we saw, they, they did find a crack at one point and that sort of thing. Those appear to have been solved and resolved overnight night, but it's just that engine issue right now. Well, we're all hopeful they'll get it sorted out so we can see a launch at least sometime soon. It's been 50 years since the last trip to the moon. So I guess my question, Gio, is, you know, we've been to the moon before. Why is this mission supposed to be different than any of the others? And Eva, that is a question that a lot of people have had, right? Why are we going back to the moon? We've been there already. Well, in this case, the whole goal is to stay on the moon. We would establish a home base there on the moon and establish a home base orbiting the moon as well. And the whole idea is to use that as a sort of as a sort of pit stop, as a layover to get to the rest of the universe, right? To get to Mars. And so that's one of the things that is so exciting about this mission is that we're talking about the potential of truly exploring deep space once we get this up in the air uh, but once we do launch this then that sets into motion the next launch which would be with astronauts on board and it would be the same thing you're seeing that graphic on your screen right now where it does this sort of what I've been calling the cosmic slingshot around the moon uh, astronauts would be doing that as well in 2024 but first they need to make sure that this ship is safe enough for them to travel on it of course safety a top priority a cosmic slingshot geo I really like the picture of that. Now tell us some of the features of the Orion and what we will see once it does hopefully reach the moon. Okay, so once it does reach the moon, uh, we will get those extraordinary images. You know, you remember those pictures from the moon looking back at Earth from the Apollo days. Uh, we would get images like that, I'm sure, in much higher definition uh, because the Orion capsule will have uh, great cameras on it. So we're going to get some really incredible images from that uh, once we do see that. Uh, but it, it, when it does launch, by the way, we should start seeing those images within a few hours, right? And later on that day, we would be getting our first First images so it's it's pretty quite incredible that is very cool this rocket is unlike any other it took nasa two decades to build this one a lot of work went into this and it shows so can you give us a sense of the scope of this mission looking at the numbers Oh my gosh, because listen, we are talking about a project that has cost over $20 billion. So much uh, effort has gone into this. So much money has gone into this because it's important, right? Just think about what happened during the Apollo days and all the science that came from that, all of the discoveries. We're talking about uh, even down to the chips in your, in your cell phones, right? Those chips, right? That was used with knowledge that was, that was discovered during the Apollo days. So much technology. So just imagine what it is that can be created after we do this, after we go deeper and deeper into space, one day ending up even on Mars. Ugh. One day we'll all be vacationing in Mars instead of in Greece. <laughs> That's what we'll be seeing on the social medias. <laughs> ABC News transportation correspondent Gio Benitez from Cape Canaveral. Thank you so much for being with us this morning, Gio. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching.
and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.